it's Paul Neese with the Real Life Health Show. Another week coming up, and uh, we have a featured video this week that you are going to love. And it's uh, on the Real Life Health Show for members. Full length video is up there now. Uh, but if you want a free, uh, if you want to see it for 24 hours, uh, uh, part one, just go to Real Life Health Show and sign up as a free subscriber, and you can see it for 24 hours. Uh, but for members, the videos are up there all the time, full length for you. Now, everybody, sit back and enjoy uh, some clips from this week's feature video with John of Life Food Gourmet Grocery. Uh, he has some great things to say about the raw vegan diet. He has a lot of experience with this. He's one of the best raw chefs out there, and his restaurant is amazing. So. Check out some clips from this week's featured video, and if you want to see more of it, uh, you could sign up as a free subscriber to the Real Life Health Show, or even better yet, sign up as a member, and you get to see the full-length video anytime. And we also posted a, a, a recipe by John last week as well, that's as for members of the Real Life Health Show, and his recipes are amazing. All right, everybody, here goes this week's featured video. If you have any comments or questions, post them below the video, and we answer all comments and questions here on the Real Life Health Show. So have a great week, everybody. Here it goes. All right, here we are with John, and John has a uh, light food gourmet. John, to say hello to the raw food audience, you was on several years ago. Say hello. Hello. How are yeah. you guys doing today? <laughs> Good. Now, how long have you had this restaurant now? Uh, total about three years. Three years. Yeah. And it's been a learning process. It's been a huge learning process. Very, uh, very evolving, you know, in, in many ways. Wow, that's it's doing great. great. That's wonderful, great. and. Uh, You've been learning a lot yourself. You've been on a vet, uh, vet, raw vegan diet for many, many years, but yeah. you just expanded and opened up to some new things. Yeah, I would like to say that that we, I kind of matured in some in so many ways in different fields. Uh, I did do the live food predominantly uh, vegan lifestyle for about seven years, and I was met with a few challenges. Part of my reasoning behind uh, why I made the changes that I make, not only my lifestyle, but as being responsible for another another being's life, you have to kind of put things in, in perspective. And you see my baby, she's robust, she's happy, she's healthy, she's brilliant. So, you know, we're happy about that. And your wife has a blog where she talks about all this. She has right? a wonderful, beautiful blog. It's called wondermamas.com. And it's the, the thing I love about it is because she's honest, she's, she's transparent, she tells her about the pitfalls of it, the highs of it, the beautiful aspects of it, her roller coaster ride with it. Um, I think it's, it's an important thing for our world right now in our community to be in touch with mothers like her and, and mothers who really want to try as best as they can to touch base with natural mothering. Uh, what do you think the direction of the raw food movement is going? Because a lot of them are into packaged foods and raw junk foods. Do you see uh, an issue with this in the raw food movement today, or not really? What do you it, think? It's, it, there's a bit of every, there's a bit of um, that's a yes and a no answer. I think there are some packaged raw foods that pretty much come as close to some of the junk food that you're, that we're accustomed in the in the supermarket because there's a lot of sugar in it. Uh, sugar is a big issue. Even if it's a, uh, a natural sugar, you can you can do that way too much. Um, stuff that's not combined properly, and you know, it's just a matter of feeling. Listen to your body. If you eat some of these these um, uh, packaged foods that are all natural ingredients and stuff like that, and you don't feel good, that's a quick indicator of, of, of whether it's something that you really want to incorporate. Uh, a snack every once in a while, I don't think it's going to hurt you. You get that balance. It's how you emotionally feel best. But yeah, there is some of that in there. You use heat as wisely. You start to look at the ancestral diets as well. And there's theories. There's theories that, that show really relevant proof that our brain actually started developing once we started cooking and using animal fats into our diet. Uh, and uh, that's something to look to look at. Now our ancestors weren't cooking the way we're cooking, and they're using low, they used to make their own stone ovens and, and and use fire very wisely and very slowly, and they knew how to retain the nutrient factors using heat without denaturing the food too much. So that's what we're doing here, and we're using technology as well to do. And after being on a, a raw vegan diet for about seven years or so, and you started to run into some problems. Uh, You've told me some of them. I don't know if you want to share them or not, but I've seen this comment, even with myself to a degree. Yeah. Do you want to share some of these I'll be, issues? I'll be so, happy to share. I mean, I uh, have tell us to some hide. of the issues that, that people can look out for these. Yeah, and be, and, and be mindful in the sense that are you really cleansing or have you really crossed that tipping point where you don't need to cleanse anymore and, uh, and now you're, you're actually malnourishing your body? 
because sometimes we see signs of malnutrition as cleansing reactions, quote unquote, and it's really not necessarily that. So that's one one of my main tips. Number two is uh, be very mindful of what your protein sources are, because protein is necessary. We got someone on this bill saying that we don't need any protein, or we hardly need any protein. Uh, so with two, I would say tap into your metabolic type a little bit. You might need more protein than what you need. And three. Um, open your minds up, you know, uh, and listen to your body. Look at your ancestral lineage and check that out to see uh, to see that as a guiding uh, point in, in the way that you live your lifestyle. Uh, and uh... all right, everybody, that was this week's featured video with John. Now remember, that was just some clips from a much longer video. You can go over to Raw Life Health Show and see the longer video now. And some of you have said that, you know, you're missing these videos on YouTube. But it's free for subscribers to the Real Life Health Show. However, it's only up for a limited time. If you want to see the full-length video anytime, you got to be a member. All right? So I'm still giving it to you. It's still for free. You just got, got to get moving and get over there now. RealLifeHealthShow.com. All right, everybody. Until then, if you have any comments or questions, post them below the video. And have a great day and a great Raw Life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.